Howdy howdy folks, Rizlov here, back for another CK3 playthrough. This time, the Brythonic Restoration. Now for this playthrough, we're going to be starting, once again, the 1066 start date. But, as the Duke of Brittany, and the goal is to conquer all of England and Wales, and convert all of the cultures to a Brythonic culture. Which mostly means kicking out the Anglo-Saxons, and if the Normans happen to have won their invasion... All of the English. That way it'll only be Brythonic cultures and Gaelic cultures. We'll be starting as Duke Conan of Brittany and hoping to survive. Um, I've done a few test runs to see how difficult it is and it's quite. Um, you would think most of the trouble comes from getting claims in England and Wales and pushing them, but honestly putting up with France is quite a bitch. So I'll show you my rule set, give you a quick run through, you can pause if you want to take a look. All right, let's jump right in. And we are in. Now let's take a look at our character. So he has randomly generated traits. And let's see what do we got this time. Callous, all right. Brave and temperate, though. Fantastic. Especially since this one is a virtue. Now, he always starts out with, uh, once again, a randomly generated uh, illegitimate son. Let's see. Generous, all right. And we will legitimize him. Mostly because he is the same age... As, as I will show you, Cecilia Normandy. And since it's likely that the Normans will win their invasion, that means I will have grandchildren with claims to England. At least that's what I'm hedging my bet on. So let's put uh, Intimidation. Now, we do need to help him win. I know I like to joke around that uh, Normans never need help winning, but we do. We do need to help him out. At least this time. And then for my, my marriage, ooh, I can actually marry France. Big help. Usually this doesn't happen, but that gets them off our back at least, which is a big help. And then we will educate our child, of course. And then let's see if we can get a good alliance through our brother. I guess this is fine. Now, what I want to do is I've done a few different strategies, but I want to see if I can get claims in Wales and just start pushing here first. In the meantime, we definitely, definitely need to help out uh, Normandy. Because they can get fucked really easily, and if they get crushed early on, they the AI is terrible at army management. So you need to help them out. Mostly because they're not good at making alliances. Like, look... He has so many extra kids, but he's only married one of them to me. So we're just going to join it. Okay, so you got two Ulus. I've noticed this is a common alliance that he'll make, is with two Ulus. So, as long as two Ulus joins us and sticks with us, we should be fine. But I've noticed that the AI likes to focus on Normandy, not Norway. Right. They're raising up troops. That means their main army's probably back there. In a York somewhere. Alright. See, they're looping around us. They're going to counter siege. And the AI, at least Normandy, is really bad at managing armies that are counter sieging. They'll just choose to siege new things instead of fighting these armies off. As Look, look at this. Look at this bullshit. Instead of fighting these armies, which are taking their war score away, they'll just siege new shit. And because they won't follow your army to fight them back, you basically just have to put up with it. Now you do want to make sure if you're playing as Brittany that you get an alliance with this guy. The reason for that is... First off, he's your biggest vassal. Second off, because this guy has a claim on your duchy, and he always tries to start a faction for it. And if this guy joins it, he's going to push it. Nice, temperate. That was, damn, she's turning out shit. That's fine. It's not really her we're interested in, it's her claims. Alright, so there's probably going to be a fight soon. Be careful. Careful. They're coming for my army. I need to watch out. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, they got me. They got me. Come on, help me out here. God damn it. The AI likes to fuck you. It just happens. They just refuse to help you out. Unless it's your war that they're helping you out in, they just won't help you. It's just like, fuck you.
Alright, sending out the troops once again. She bravely waves the boys goodbye again. There's your daily Pink Floyd reference. So of course, we're not in Southampton docks. See what I mean? The fucking Norman AI is really stupid. They'll just siege some random shit in the middle of the country instead of going for the capital. It's dumb. It really is. And they'll just take attrition damage doing it. Alright, cool. He's got Brave. He's starting out really good. Hey, I've got Emma Capet. I'll take some gold. Fantastic. Now, how is the Anglos... Oh, damn. They finished off Norway already. Okay, they're probably going to win Cambridge and then come at my army. So I need to watch out for that. Oh, Emma's pregnant. Gonna, damn, that was quick. Like, if the Normans would just coalesce and then attack their armies, they could get war score from that, because they outnumber them. And their, like, general is better. Duke William is a great general. But the AI is just shit. Genuinely, look at this. They'll just take attrition damage, sieging down some worthless middle-of-the-country castle, running away from the capital instead. Okay, got another son. Let's go with Patrick. Ah, Lollards in the country. Interesting. Hopefully that makes them fall to revolt. Or at least makes them unstable. They're probably going to go after my army. Yep, they are. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Look at this bullshit. Just come on, attack them. It's not that hard. They're literally just going to siege from south to north the entire time. Come on, AI, you're letting me down. Like, look, he'll marry and fuck him off. To his own relative, doesn't get him an alliance, by the way, and she's a leper. There's no kids gonna happen here. I just have to know what the AI is thinking sometimes. Like, why? Alright, my kid turned out decent. So the hope that I have right now is that when they hit the north, they'll realize they have nowhere left to siege, and they'll turn back south and hit their armies. That's my hope. Do I think it'll happen? No. However, they did just get another ally, and hopefully they'll join, and that'll be enough for them to be like, oh yeah, we definitely could take them in a fight. I hope. I really do hope, because I'm tired of just sitting here. Oh, are we smart enough to turn back south now? Thank you. Oh my god. Ah, oh, but the fucking Toulousans left. Fantastic. Just what I wanted to see. Just like... What the fuck is... There's the... Okay. So the new ally has showed up. Will the AI be enough? Will they, like, have enough confidence now to just push the fight? No, they're going back north because they're fucking stupid. Now, come on. Please... Like, please realize you overwhelmed them by, like, double. Oh, oh, they did realize. Oh, yes, yes. Let's fuck them up, fuck them up. Thank you. It's about damn time. Thank you. And I got my claim in Gwent. Fantastic. Ah, their fucking reinforcements have showed up, too. I don't know if I can win this siege race. Let's just hope. Doubt it, doubt it, doubt it, doubt it. But they went a different direction, so it's fine. Oh, Gwent, you're going down. Then I've got my foothold in Wales. Is, is William, like, almost dead by now? He's got to be old. 47? <laughs> yeah, basically almost dead. That's, like, my scale of age. Oh my god, come on. Just take him out. Fucking crush that army. Take him down. Let's go. Fuck him up. Yes! Yes! 
Thank you. For fuck's sake. About damn time. Ugh. Alright, Wales. I'm allied with France and England. You can't fuck with me. You ain't got shit on me. I'm calling in Burgundy. I don't need to call in my kingly allies. You ain't worth it. Alright, let's raise the troops. Send them to Gwent. Let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's fuck them up. Let's just hope that Alan and Cecilia actually pump out a kid. Because if they don't, that throws everything into disarray. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Boom. Oh shit, Wales is about to unify. You know, excluding the one province I'm taking. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I just looked over at France for like a second, and um, they're orthodox. So, that happened. We got Lollardry in England and fucking orthodoxy in France. What the f- What the hell? It's a great game. A great game, truly. You know, the AI is a bit shit, but truly cursed shit makes up for it. Boom. Such a great game. Truly. And now we work on fabricating in uh, the rest of Wales. Because if I can create another duchy, then that means I can create the Kingdom of Brittany. And that's really what I want. What I really, really want. And there's your Spice Girls reference. I am truly a cultured man with a wide variety of tastes. Oh, there goes when it has unified. Oh shit. Northumbria is ugly. <laughs> yeah. Hideous, in fact. That is unfortunate, my guy. Truly, truly unfortunate. Oh god, I forgot Duchess. The Duchess of East Anglia had leprosy. Yikes. Alright, Gwynedd, you're going down, and England is going to do the fighting for me. And in the meantime, I'm going to fabricate another claim. Thank you, England. This is a repayment for me fighting the war for you, you know, because that's how it went down. Thank you, England, so kind. I remember when you were this small... Waiting for Aquitaine to turn to a king, because that usually happens. Because I've seen these two win independence quite a bit, but usually one of them turns into a king. Because he basically owns half of it. Look at this, England. See, why couldn't you have been this efficient in fighting the Anglo Saxons? Look, he split it, covered both of the provinces. <laughs> this one peasant is. <laughs> England, where are you going? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, I'm getting sieged down. Oh, I might get fucked here. Didn't even realize. Oh, don't. Don't do this to me right now. You bitch. Sieging me down without me even realizing. I was wondering where that army went. Always gotta pay attention to that, guys. The fucking AI likes to sneak around and siege down your capital. They're sneaky. Very sneaky. Now, once I get this claim on this piece of Welsh land, and then I technically have three pieces of land slash claims, uh, I'm going to start revoking Breton lands so I can consolidate in Brittany. So, boom, boom. Now, how long is that truce with me? Uh, five years. All right. Time to start working on revoking this shit. Ah. The French want me to help them attack the Holy Roman Empire. Well, they... God, the HRE just, just does not have a good time in these playthroughs of mine. Look at this shit. Yikes. Oh, look at that. Solomon actually managed to stay on the throne. That's a very rare occurrence. Usually Geza throws him off. This guy. Well, speaking of, <laughs> they're actually trying to push him off the throne right now. I spoke too soon, I suppose. 
Oh, France is uh having a bad time. Seeing as it's Dutch now. Good for uh I assume that's Robert, but in Dutch. Good for Robert. Huh. Whose sister is the Queen of England. How about that? It's just cursed. This whole th whole timeline's cursed. Dutch France. I'm gonna revoke this shit. Doink. Or you can just be a bitch and revolt. That's cool. Cool, not cool. Alright, we got him. We got him. Just gotta win this siege war. Duke boot. Okay, so he's fighting his older brother? He's fighting his older brother who wants to be on the throne. Got it. What a fucking mess that is. France is just a mess in this game. Independence Wars, the Dutch are on the throne. What a great game. Go to Canterbury. That's where Arthur would be crowned if he was king. At least in my eyes. In the meantime, we're gonna finish off Wales. Come on, Philippe and William. Let's go fuck them up. Bandits! B -b 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 Bandits! Then, oh, well, I got wounded. All right. Hmm. Let's go fight off these Welsh. Oh, wait. They might be coming to land in my territory. Need to prepare for that. Yep, there they come. Alright, fucker. This is my territory you're in. Welcome to the jungle. Alright, into Wales. I captured Vaughn. <laughs> Nice. A dwarf knight. Love it. It's like that, uh, that one episode of Game of Thrones where the Lannister, what was his name, Tyrion, had to fight, had to lead a uh, battle. Good episode. Spoiler alert for like a five-year-old show, by the way. Oh, I did get a grandson. Conan. What a great name. Sounds like mine. Why the fuck is he over there? Huh? Huh? That's fucking stu- Why the hell is my grandson in Northumbria? What? That is unacceptable. Yeah. <laughs> I can abduct my grandson. Hmm. To the capital. Oh, he's brave. Nice. Now, I haven't devoted him to God yet. Um, because I might not have to. If this Welsh duchy is enough for him, then I don't need to. And it'd be cool to have another sector of the dynasty rule in Wales. You know, until I migrate to England. The fucking peasant revolts already. Hmm. I'll take the money. Even if that drags out the war. Because I'm fine with that. I just like money. Seriously, I just like money. A lot, in fact. Ooh, fear tax. Sounds like money. Boom. Alright. Fun. Disband. And revoke that shit. Boom. Alright, yeah, it looks like if I die, it'll be fine. So I don't need to devote him. We do need to find him a marriage. To a loose? Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's see what else we got. We could get 
the Wettons. So we can get Toulouse or Saxony, basically. Those are some good ones. Or this one, who's a bit more of his age. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go with that Gaelic woman. Because they're fighting against the illegitimate Scots, which are Germans. Dirty Germans, instead of rightful Celtic rulers. And he's probably going to call us in. But I am going to work on stockpiling. Because if I can get 500 gold, I could be king of Brittany. Which would be pretty damn dope. If I do say so. And I do say so. This kid can have that one. Boom. Look at that. He's already got land to rule. Oh, ooh, he's in my land. No? He's in Northumbria still. But he is my... I don't understand. Why can I not educate him? Very confused. I'm just waiting for these fucking peasants. So I can crush them to the dirt. Yep. The Dutch overthrew the Dutch. Typical Dutch. Just Dutch things. Oh, oh, we got King of Aquitaine. It happened. Finally happened. What's this? Peasants. I don't think so. I do not think so. No, sir. You're going down. Come here. Come here. You're not running away to France. You're coming right here. Boom. Alright, to Wales we go. Skilled nephew. Sure, why not? Alright, we're gonna land here. Okay, how long until it lose the disembark? Wait for that. Ooh, we're taking this glory. Love it so much. Okay, should be good. Take him down, take him down. Let's go. Yeah! Boom. Nice. Now, back to making some money. Alright, Patrick, how'd you turn out? Decent. Me the money. Tempted to take the wealth focus. Just so that I can get the money. How's Mercy doing? You're doing alright. Unfortunately, I cannot take this claim. I'm saving money. England, how are you? Where'd your kids in get? Some randos. Including me. Oh? Okay, so I can choose his education. I'll take stewardship. Do I just have... No, I don't have any wards, so what the... F Why can I not educate? Can't be edu... Yeah, you can. You're not... Oh my god. Educate. Come on. is so strange. Paying homage. Oh, Honey? Yes, give me the money. Thank you. Your contribution is appreciated. How are the French doing? Oh, they converted. They're no longer Dutch. They... <laughs> they've lost touch with their roots. That's unfortunate. Poor Dutch. Though I suppose this would be Flemish, wouldn't it? <laughs> Heinrich is not having a good time. Fucking excommunicated and one-legged. Alright, Conan. Wish I could, you know, arrange some good shit for you and educate you, but uh, apparently you're not in my court, even though you're my leech. You're just in fucking Northumbria for some reason. Don't understand that. 
Oh, money. I will always take money. Just like 90 more, and I'm golden. Just a wee bit more. A wee bit more. Support. Thanks, man. Oh, shit. That was 70 gold right there. God damn. Thanks, man. You're a cool dude. And then Brittany is in business. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Here we are. Here we are. Fucking bada boom. We're the king of Brittany. The boys are back in town. All right. The kingdom of Brittany is formed. Now, I think next episode, we're going to focus on finishing off Wales. I think that's a good target. And then after that, by that point, we should have died. And maybe even our arrow died, which means we'll be playing as Conan, perhaps. And he should have a claim on England. And maybe we can unify Brittany, Wales, and England. And then we can start the long and arduous process of converting it all to Breton. So, I've been Rizlov. Thank you for joining me for the first part of the Brythonic Restoration. If you check out the description, you'll find my Twitch link if you want to watch me live when I finally go back to streaming almost every day. You can also find a link to my Discord if you just want to hang out, see what games I'll be playing next, or just have a say on what games I play next. You can also just hang out. That's pretty cool, too. Um, you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. I upload here almost daily. So, yeah. Peace out.